everyone, my name is Lisa. We've been in ministry for a number of years. I just have been led by the Lord to start having a live community prayer. So as soon as I learn the details of the weekly, it'll probably be a Wednesday or Thursday, or probably be around lunchtime, but I will let you know. But this is what the Lord wants me to do. And people are hurting. And Jesus is not the reason for the pain. Jesus is our savior and Jesus defeated the enemy. And what we are to do is understand what God has told us to do, accept him as our savior, learn what he says in his word. Then we learn how to walk and live in the authority of the Lord. We block the junk of the world. We separate from the world and then we take our authority and enforce the victory that Jesus had has gotten for us. There's a lot of people that are, quote, saved. And at the same time, there are so many believers who are being controlled by the, the curse and the, um, the current of the enemy. And... I am only here by the grace of God in what he did in my life 10 years ago. I had had enough and I just basically laid it down, laid my life down. And it's probably, it's very rare. It's doable. I'm not going to kid you. It's rare, but I had had enough of this world and I wanted some answers. And so all I need to do is go to God and go to his word and that began the relationship and I'm talking intense, intense relationship. But the reason why I say that is because just like Jesus said, he goes, lay down your life, come follow me. It's not, we can't live on the fence and live like the world and expect to walk in the victory and the dominion that God has given us through Jesus Christ. God's not in control. The body of Christ is in control. When we lay our life down and let God be in control with obedience then he's in control of our lives but it, it's a difference just because someone is a saved they're probably going to heaven and live with Jesus for eternity but the Lord did not mean for us to be beat up all the time if we're not living in victory in peace with answers then we're missing it we, we, I'm not saying there's not circumstances I'm not saying there's not challenges but we're citizens of the kingdom of God. And what that means is that we operate by God's kingdom. We don't operate by the world's way. And if you want to know more detail, you can go to our website and then start, go to our YouTube channel. We have over 600 videos, kingworldwide.com or YouTube, King Worldwide, just like it sounds. But today I am led, the Lord wants me to pray. And it doesn't matter if anybody joins or anybody watches. I'm just being obedient. That's what God tells me to do. So we're going to pray and we're going to pray for everything the Lord tells me to pray for. And we're going to do this on a weekly basis until the Lord tells me to stop. So thank you, Father, Heavenly Father. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus to save us. Thank you for all your children and all your children that don't know you yet. Lord, by obedience to you and interceding on behalf of your children. I don't have to know these people or I can know these people, but I love them and I'm going to pray for them. Someone could be dealing with addictions. That's tough. I know it's tough. It's, it's, um, I was addicted to food and I know people think that's silly, but I was addicted and I almost killed myself over it. And I didn't even realize that my mind I gave my mind over to the liar and it was just controlling me. Didn't know that existed. But I pray for all those people who are addicted. I break those bonds, the bondage, oppression of addiction in the name of Jesus. I break the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. I break the spirit of oppression in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We break those lies and demons that are trying to affect your mind. Get out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We break 
all those spirits of fear. Fear is not an emotion. Fear is a spirit. The root of fear is death and Satan is the author of death. I break that over you. I break that spirit of fear, of death, of bondage, of wonder, of not knowing what to do. I break that in the name of Jesus. At the same time, let's apply the blessing of God, the love of God, the joy of God, the peace of God in your life. Do you know that things that are in the spirit, it does, there is no time in the spirit. And so if someone's hearing this message 10 years from now, they can still take the anointing of God that's on me. They can take it on to them and apply it. And anybody who is part of this ministry or, or friends of mine, Join in because this is going to be a community prayer and the point is to have a corporate anointing so that we can establish God's presence and this is just where he told me to do it. It doesn't matter about Instagram, wherever. I'll just pass it on to all the other social medias, but this is what we're going to do and we're going to form a family of unity where people know that they can pray. If they're not going to a church or if they're not having um, impact with anyone else, we're going to be their church in Jesus name. So we break those powers of bondage and then we apply the blessing and you can submit any questions or any prayer request submit to our email for right now. And it's king at kingworldwide.com. K-I-N-G at kingworldwide.com. And if you just put prayer request and then I will address, we'll address it on a weekly basis on this, um, Instagram live. All right. So we're going to probably keep it short now because the Lord said, just do an introduction. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, that you have shown us a way that we can help others. You don't have to be a spiritual guru. You don't have to have any background of the word or church. Just come as you are. Lay your heart down and ask the Lord to help you. He did that for me. He's going to do that for you. There is no perfectionism in the body of Christ. And we're not going to talk about Christianity because so many people say they're Christian and they're in bondage. We're going to talk about being believers, disciples of Jesus Christ, because there are a lot of people that have a lot of different gods, but there is only one God and one son named Jesus. And Jesus is the one that came and set us free so that we can be like we were from the very beginning before when God breathed dust into our mother's womb. We are not the idea of our parents. We are God's idea. All right, so I love you. Again, if you have any prayer requests, bring them on, King at King Worldwide, or you can just um, direct message me at Instagram here. Okay, I love you all. Have a great day. Thanks for joining. Talk soon. Bye.